So today I'm working on a MacBook Pro 2015 15 inch and uh, what the client has done is that they've they've accidentally gone from an upgrade of Yosemite all the way to Catalina and it's caused all sorts of issues with their computer. So for example, we can we can see here that several applications are not updated. So that's I think that's final is that final cut, final draft. And then things like the 2011 Word are not working, things like the old garage band and um they need to spend more money in order to upgrade these bits of software. And um, instead of going through all that um, bother, what they've decided to do is that they want to um, restore from their time machine backup and um, go back to the way the operating system used to be. Now, <clears throat> it's certainly possible to go back through time machine, but most people don't know the actual right method to do so. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the, the main thing is going to be to shut down the computer and then load the operating system through the time machine backup, which I've got right here. So this hard drive contains the Yosemite Time Machine Backup. So the normal advice to get into the Time Machine Backup and restore your old operating system is to um, hold down the Command and R key uh, as you're switching on the computer. Um, I actually prefer to hold the Option key because I think it makes it clearer whether you've succeeded or not in getting into the recovery drive. So what I normally do is press the, the uh, power button and hold down Option. <clears throat> And within a few seconds, this should get us into this kind of menu, right? And what you need to do is press Command and R at this stage, and it will explicitly give you a Internet Recovery logo. Now, this might take a while to actually boot up, so um, give it at least 10 minutes or so to gather all of the information it needs to make that boot drive. So once you get into the recovery partition, all you have to do is scroll to restore from time machine backup. And then we're going to be able to select exactly which version of the operating system we want. So for example, here, we've got the backup of June 25th, which was just um, earlier today. And all we need to do is restore from that. So here we've got 10.10.5, which is the latest version of Yosemite. And if we click on this now, now we're gonna restore onto the main Macintosh disk. which we're going to ask to erase as well. And good. Once that's restored, then we should be back on Yosemite. And this particular backup is quite large. It's uh, 500 gigabytes, so it might take a few hours for that to finish. So after the restore completed, the computer automatically restarted. And now we can see that the computer has been downgraded back to 10.10.5 Yosemite and um, you can see that some of the older 32-bit applications like Office 2011 and this version of Final Draft are all working now um, when they weren't working on Catalina. So this is quite an effective way of going backwards and um, reverting to a version of the operating system that did work and this only really works if you have a uh, time machine backup of the computer before you upgrade it. So it's very important that you have this upgrade before you perform any kind of major upgrade to your computer. So that's how you do it.